Hey guys, this is Rick with Two Brothers Outdoors. I'm waiting for Tim to come on over. Today we're uh, gonna go up and hopefully take a white pine and a hemlock down, and then we'll pull it out tomorrow. We're out of logs on the sawmill. We've sawn everything we've pulled out for winter except for this one big maple log right there. But that log has been out all winter. It's probably froze solid. We've been real cold. So we're going to uh, go up and try to find some uh, fresh wood to cut. Hopefully we can get it out tomorrow. So what we're going to do is there's a lot of people buying mills and a lot of people are like scratching their head. So we're going to go up and take this tree and we're going to take you from beginning to end. We're going to cut these uh, logs up into two by fours and siding for a, a project we got coming this summer. And uh, hopefully we can give you some insight and some basics on sawing. So stick with us and we're going to head up in just a minute and take this tree down. Tim's arrived and we're going to head up, see if we can get this tree down. Hopefully we can get it out tomorrow. Okay guys, this is the tree we're taking down. And uh, as you can see right there, it's got a, a damaged spot. Looks like, or maybe another tree leaned against it and grew around it. But we got a lot of good logs above it and a lot of good logs below it. And then the next tree we're going to take is this one right here. It's rotten at the bottom. It's still alive. It's got two uh, branches coming off of the fork. And they're pretty straight, so we can get a lot of 2x4s out of those. Alright, so we're not going to show you cutting it down. Um, we're kind of in a tight spot. We got to try to drop it right down through that hole. So we're going to be a little busy, so we're not going to be able to film it. But once we get it down, we will be back with you. Okay, guys. We managed to drop this baby right exactly where we wanted it dropped. So right perfect. Tim's going to square up the butt of the log and then we're going to uh, cut it in 8 foot 3 inch lengths. You always cut your log 3 inches longer than the boards you want to make. That way you can square off the ends of the boards. It gives you an uh, inch and a half on each end to square it off before you start building it. This is a nice log other than this little crook right here. This is straight for probably 60, 65 feet. All right. We are really happy the way it's out. Okay, guys, we got it all marked off. We got seven eight foot usable logs out of this tree. That's seven logs, eight foot three inches long. That's 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 quite a take for well, one tree. A of the yeah, we cut this one just a tiny bit longer because we have this rot spot. It's not a rot spot, it's where another limb grew into the tree, but it's going to yield less lumber at that end. Alright, so we're going to buck it up and then we're going to get out of here. I will put this on tonight. This will be part one of the series of making lumber. Okay guys, so we got them all bucked up and cut up and tomorrow morning we'll get up here with the log arches and see if we can pull them out. Now this looks like a pretty big tree and if you were buying this log, this is all part of sawn timber, if you were buying this log or you were going to cut this log for a customer or a buddy for per board foot and charge for it, this log right here is about 15 inches inside the bark. It's about 15 inches. You always measure the logs on the small end because the small end is what's going to yield your lumber. The wider end down here is going to become waste. All right, so we're going to use to make these into two by fours and siding. We should be able to get everything we need out of this one tree. Okay, guys, so like I said, this is going to be part one of making lumber. Hopefully these video will help you if you just bought a mill. So we're heading out of here and I'll post this one tonight. Tim's phone is talking to him. I'll post this video tonight. Uh, we'll get the logs out tomorrow, hopefully. Maybe even get to saw one up. 
if timber's hitting the ground, you bet two brothers are around. You betcha. <laughs> See you tomorrow.